pet parents like me love sneaking their dogs table scraps. I admit it, I do it. But people don't realize that certain human foods are dangerous for dogs. Melinda Kirkstenger is here. She's a canine caterer who's been cooking for dogs for over 20 years. She joins us with her little puppy, Bella. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm great, how are you? So, wow, you've been, you've been cooking and baking for, for pets for years now. I have, and something really cool and amazing is coming up. I am going to cater the largest dog wedding ever in Chicago, and I make the cake behind me, and there goes Bella. <laughs> <laughs> so we're working with 500 doggy couples to create the largest dog wedding, and 100% of the proceeds go to Canines for Warriors, where they partner a service dog with a veteran. And I got started cooking for dogs because I found out that Bella had allergies to things like wheat, corn, and soy. So I started making her healthy, homemade snacks that look like yes. human food. I, this is so topical uh, for me in my home right now. Um, I have had a dog with an uh, upset stomach for just about a month, and I'm trying to determine which ingredient it is that's triggering her. What kind of symptoms did you first start seeing in Bella that inspired you to start cooking for her? Well, she was itching and scratching, and one of the reasons that I started cooking was to help her deal with these hot flash, hot rashes. Yes. And they can itch a lot. So one of the things that I created because of her is pet cakes. It's the first ever organic microwavable treat for dogs and cats. You make it home in just minutes. Ooh. And there's no wheat, corn, or soy, and there's no salt, sugar, preservative, so it's super healthy. And everything's included in the kit, even the pan and the mix. It's super simple. You add water to the mix, pour the batter into the pan, and after minutes in the microwave, you have a soft, healthy cake-like treat. And the birthday kits even come with a candle. Oh my gosh, I love it. How innovative. And you know, what's really smart about this, you've made it very easy for people because sometimes, you know, uh, cooking uh, for ourselves can be challenging, right? It's all about time. So right, you're making right. it convenient. Everyone, a lot of pet parents think that it's hard and time consuming to cook for their animals. But I have created a cookbook with fun brunch inspired dishes for dogs like wolf waffles and mutt muffins like you see behind me. And it's super easy, even kids can make it. And I've even dedicated an entire page to things dogs should not have, uh, starting with xylitol. Xylitol is um, in prepackaged muffins and cookies and even gum. And unfortunately, a friend of mine found this out the hard way when her German Shepherd got a hold of some sugar free gum and was poisoned by the xylitol. So uh. I'm on a mission to help all pet parents avoid this tragic mistake. You know, I love this. I have always been told um, that dogs should also never have chocolate. Um, I believe there are certain nuts. Is it, I don't think they're supposed to have almonds either. Are there other ingredients that you think pet parents should be aware of? Absolutely. There's so many foods that we eat around the dinner table that can be toxic to dogs. And like you said, a lot of people know chocolate's one of them. But did you know that onions, grapes, raisins, mm. and of course, xylitol, is on the top of that list. And I want to help pet parents avoid that. So I've dedicated an entire page in my cookbook to foods dogs should avoid. I have to say, Melinda, I wish I could attend this dog wedding. I have been to one dog wedding um, where two families decided their dogs should unite. It's a little <laughs> bit of an arranged marriage if you think about it, but 500 pet parents, like this is gonna be an extraordinary event. When does that take place? It takes place in Chicago, October 2nd. And like I said, I am the official cake sponsor and I will be doing a four tiered wedding cake for the event, like you see behind me. And all the proceeds of the registration go to Canines for Warriors. And that's pairing a service dog with a veteran. I, that sounds like a wonderful program. I love it. I, I'm glad there's a, a charity element to it too. I hope you come back on the show this fall and share some pictures from that event. It sounds really great. Thank you so much for joining us. I would love to do that and thank you so much.
to learn about these delicious doggy treats that Melinda just shared, just head to ilovepetcakes.com, the website that is right there on your screen. Also, we're going to have this segment again on our website if you'd like to take a look.